way so far down there. We throw those.
Okay, this is my dime. Uh, there. It's a D or Washburn. Uh, it's the 333. But I uh, dimed it out with the sticker. Gotta have the kiss sticker there, or it doesn't. It's it's stupid. Then you have to put the dime time, the correct, which is this the replica of the uh, old. Uh, he had his uh, Bill Lawrence pickups rewound and potted. So that's what these. <clears throat> this is a Seymour Duncan Bill Lawrence reproduction, basically, and that's a '59 in the neck. So if you look up. The, the Washburn 333, that's what it's called, I guess, because the guitar from hell was the Beast, 666. This is like half of the Beast, 333. Get it? That's what I was thinking. I go, why the heck is this stupid thing called 333? And that's the stupid explanation I was given is that it wasn't the Beast, it was half the Beast because of, you know, it didn't come with the correct pickup. You just had to do a few upgrades, and they did this because they were fighting this lawsuit against the, the dumbass that originally did the uh, lightning, so they threw in these uh, lines. You guys, I'm sure, have all seen this. This one's cherried out. It's perfect condition. The only thing I did with it is put these things on it, but I... Instead, I made the uh, the input in the back. Just it's easier, and it looks cool, kind of, because you don't see any cable coming out. And I could actually put my uh, wireless right there, and no one would even see it. So there you go. Uh, I ran the first part with the chorus, and then the second part with nothing, just running straight through the two cabinets, the Marshall and the PV. So there you go, really. Um, but I brought something else. Retarded.
That's my excuse. <laughs> Besides that I can't feel out of my left hand. No feeling in my left hand. But I'm just tired of saying that to different people. So, Anyways, this is the 333. I was going to play this. But this is purely a beautiful guitar. A Dragon Blood Red uh, BC Rich Bitch. With a Seymour JB pickup. And uh, just a stock. BC Rich, whatever. Beautiful. I've always wanted one of these. I got one. I had my guy work on it two times. And it still plays like dog meat. And it's the neck. It's the neck. Their necks always suck. So I've had like, I don't know how many BC Rich guitars in my life. A lot. And I've sold almost, this is the only, you know, I have two BC Rich guitars. This one and another one. The basses, they rule. They rumble, they're great. The guitars, they look great, they suck. I, I wish I could find a really nice white warlock. But I've had two or three of them. One of them I smashed. Because I'm, it's just, it looks so good, but it wouldn't play. So whatever. I'm not going through that again. Plus those, the one that I smashed, those things are going for thousands, like $9,000 now. So that was really stupid. But it looked good on stage. Don't think anybody caught it on camera, though. So, I'm just trying things out. People are like, dude, you got too many effects. Okay, well, whatever. Eddie Van Halen and Randy Rhodes both ran a boatload of effects. All the time. It's just how you tweak it to make it your sound, and so it doesn't stand out and overpower the playing. Which, on this one video, the guy that was, you know, wonking on about it, he was right. I had the... Uh, digital delay on the whole time it sounded stupid but then he started going off and I had to beep so. <laughs> a subscriber he will not be so there you go I'm just gonna go out in a blaze of uh, noise and I will talk to you guys later because I really don't have anything to say except for that I already told you I talked to Sharon I called her office they called me back because only because I don't have any pull except my ex-wife works for Sharon Osborne, so that works still. And it's a business question, so she'll definitely take the message and then think about it. So she called me back. And we talked. And she goes, how many views does it have? And I told her the whole thing. Put it up on Facebook. Bam! People, thousands of people are watching at the same time, commenting. Dude. Then the dude throws this thing up. Not meaning any harm, but he did. He planted the cancer right in it whole experiment if you want to download this and let's do it in your car here go to this site and you can do it and the views started going and 
they're slowly going up, but it still hasn't hit a thousand views in over two weeks. So she goes, she goes, so what does that tell you, Michael? I go, that it, it tells me that it wouldn't be worth your money to uh, invest in putting out this stuff because everybody just rips it off. And she goes, you're right. And that's what I came to the conclusion when we were making the box set that this was going to, you know, include Randy. The whole side is polka dot. That's, you know, they don't have a Zach Wild side or a Jakey Jerk side. Just Randy. He knows who got him to where he is, and so does she. But uh, they have no one to pay anything to now. So all the money Randy would get goes to them, goes to the Osbournes. They, they, they get it. And uh, that's it. That's why the Rhodes family's trying to do something and make a museum. The trouble is they've got problems. I'm glad to help. I'm going to try to go down and talk to them and, and make up with uh, Kelly. Because <laughs> I don't know if we're fighting or not. We haven't spoken to each other in like three years, four years. So got to check that out and that'll be that. But that's your Randy Rose news. No, I'm, ta I'm sick of tired talking about Molly Cruz, so that's that. Um, I did find a bunch of pictures, though. I'll be posting those on Facebook, so I don't have nothing to do with you. I did find some 45s. I'm going to do a live broadcast in the middle of the night. If you're up, fine. You can watch it. But I'm just doing it to show people and not to waste this kind of time on my camera. Okay? All right. So let's go for a shred here. Ha, ha, ha. And it starts off perfectly. copy copy don't copy subscribe comment do whatever the hell you want help me out though all right i'm almost close to a thousand 
Look at this dude's throwing YouTube parties. You're, they're YouTubers that have made millions and millions and millions of dollars off of watching people watching junk videos. Not that mine are anything better. Mine are kind of like guitar junk fast food videos, but theirs is just pure crap. They're not educating anybody. At least I kind of talk about history of stuff and what things are and what they're not. Later. Might have to cut this in two now. Yeah.